UK yesterday received the first fully tested coronavirus vaccines on day one of the Pfizer-BioNTech rollout. The US and other European countries say they'll start their own vaccination programmes as soon as regulators give the green light. What about everyone else? A new report is warning that the world's richest countries have already ordered most of the vaccine supply for the rest of the year. That means poorer nations will be last in line to receive the jab. Now, a new alliance of NGOs is calling on governments and drug companies to create a fund to ensure everyone is protected, regardless of where they live. In Germany, hundreds of mass vaccination centres are being set up around the country in preparation for EU regulators authorising the first COVID-19 vaccines. More than 8 million people are set to receive the jab during the country's first phase of immunisations. Euronews correspondent Kate Brady sent us this report from one of those centres in Berlin. In just a couple of weeks, this Berlin arena will be transformed into one of six vaccination centres in the German capital. Every day, more than 3,400 people will pass through its doors to be immunised against COVID-19. Inside, construction is already underway. The vaccination will be administered in one of 80 cubicles like these. Then, a 30-minute wait. The second shot come in 21 days later. Berlin Health Senator Dilek Kalici says the centre will initially be in action for four and a half months for the first phase of vaccinations. Phase one should primarily take place in vaccination centres because this vaccine, which we expect to be used, is complex and requires special storage conditions. This means that vaccinations in the usual health system won't be possible. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine needs to be stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius. It will be kept in a secret location before being transported here. The 200 million euro project will also need the help of some 3,000 staff members across Berlin's six centres. Project leader Albrecht Brömer designed the blueprint for the centres using nothing other than Lego. The Lego was a mechanism to make the idea a reality. I built the vaccination booths with Lego on for Lego panels. Then I built a consultation area at the front, the entrance and exit, a first aid point and a logistical base for storage. And this basic idea can now be seen here. The first people expected to be vaccinated here are health workers and people from high-risk groups, who will be contacted individually by post. The letters are ready, the facilities are ready. We can send out the invitations at the push of a button. We also have an appointment system. That means via a call centre or hotline, but appointments can be made online. We are, of course, also relying on the willingness of Berliners to be vaccinated. A mammoth task lies ahead, but all that's needed now is the government's green light to fill the empty shelves and begin vaccinating against COVID-19. Kate Brady, Euronews, Berlin.